What is the outlook for the Swiss real estate market in 2025? Today we have a unique real estate expert with us, Mr. Dario Berta. He sold many, many real estate. He's a very successful um, real estate guy. He knows all the buildings of the Bahnhofstrasse from the lake until to the railway station. He knows every building, he knows every owner, is incredible. He is the expert of real estate in Zurich and we want to know today from Mr. Dario Berta, he is a former UBS director, we want to know from him what is the outlook of the Swiss, for the Swiss real estate market in 2025 next year. So Dario, give us an overview about the outlook, about the future of the Swiss real estate market. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Thank you, Enzo, for the invitation. So, uh, real Pleasure. estate market 2025, uh, always uh, difficult to predict. So, uh, I would start with the current situation, uh, what we see in 2024. Yeah. We saw uh, decreasing in the interest rates uh, and probably the Swiss National Bank will decrease further half a percent to one percent the interest rates. This gives a boost, of course, to the real estate market as uh, the institutional and private clients, they can refinance uh, much cheaper and uh, there be, will be probably, I think, in 2025, the most important point will be the interest rates. They will uh, probably stay low. Uh, this means it's a good basis for the real estate market, uh, residential and commercial. Uh, so, so that's really uh, a key point. So very important what Dario said. You know, we have to differentiate between residential property and between commercial real estate properties. Commercial Swiss real estate is accessible to foreigners and private properties are not accessible for foreigners or very difficult to access for foreigners. So for foreign investors, commercial real estate is the way to go because there is no other way. But tell us a little bit for our foreign audience because we have a mainly foreign audience what can we say about Swiss commercial real estate, specifically for our foreign investors? Absolutely. Where are the opportunities in, in commercial real estate in Switzerland? Where should they invest? Should they invest more in Zurich, Geneva, in the cities, outside of the cities, or uh, how it is? It depends on the philosophy of the clients, but uh, of course always the, the big cities for commercial uh, real estate are really good. Uh, we see also because 2024 there were, was not so many transactions because the institutional clients, the big clients, they see 2024 as a tra transitional year uh, where they do not a lot of transactions, but we see that they uh, sometimes decrease or change their portfolio and uh, so there's good opportunities at the moment in the commercial field because also the, the big players, they have some of the properties, of course, off market, but we know which are these properties. So mainly uh, Zurich, Geneva, but also Zug, Basel, Luzern are the cities where, where, where we think are good opportunities also for institutional clients. Okay. What is also an important point is that often foreigners, they don't have really Switzerland on their uh, target, yeah. but we have to we have to say because of the very cheap refinancing and the very strong Swiss franc to invest in the Swiss real estate market in the commercial Swiss real estate market for foreigners can be a very good. Uh, this can be very attractive, you know, and this uh, not many people know that. Tell us about the returns foreigners can realize with Swiss commercial real estate. What are the returns, uh, maybe examples yeah. in the center of Zurich, outside of Zurich, if you can, can give us? Uh, currently, we have uh, some opportunities in the commercial field, for example, in Zurich, where we are currently. Very beautiful city, 
with uh, one million people uh, population, uh, so the biggest city of Switzerland. And there are some trophy assets on the market, yeah. like AAA tenants, uh, tenants which are US uh, global companies or Chinese companies or uh, very big fashion brands. So really trophy assets, you can get up to 3.2% uh, yield. Wow, that's uh, much, that's much for, that's for, for Switzerland, that's, that's a lot, lot, you know. And you can buy on less attractive uh, properties, but also in the city of Zurich, and you can go up to 5% uh, yield on the property, which with, the, with an LTV refinancing of 70 to 72%, gives you a really nice return on your equity. So did you understood, Dario said to us before, the LTV. So that means you can go to the bank and ask for money. You give the real estate as a collateral and you receive money. So Correct. that means that you can buy real estate with less money. So let's give you an example. You, if you have 2.5 million, you go to the bank, the bank gives you 7.5 million and you buy a commercial real estate for 10 million. Correct. Then you have the benefit of the capital gain and then you have rental income. Correct. Can you give us Correct. a little bit the figures or some examples uh, which you can disclose? Because of course you cannot disclose yeah. everything because you know all these private people, but tell us what, is, uh, what was mentioned in the newspapers, what kind of examples can you, uh, can you tell us just to illustrate uh, to our yeah. audience? Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there's some, currently some really trophy assets that are not on the market, but off market, which uh, as a tenant, they have global companies yeah. and where you get really nice returns. Also long term, with long term agreements. With rental, long term agreements, uh, five to 15 years. Uh -huh. uh, we also see some opportunities up to 20 years. Uh -huh. uh, for example, we have, uh, uh, one building currently where is a Swedish um, furniture uh, company yeah. which you maybe probably everyone knows yeah. and they often rent between 10 and 20 years yeah. and uh, this can be very good opportunities for uh, foreign family offices. Yeah. Instead to invest everything in bankable assets you know you can diversify and consider a commercial property in Switzerland if you as a foreign investors are interested in such kind of investments, call us, Dario and me, we are more than happy to introduce you to off-market deals. So we don't, deals, we don't deal with internet deals. We only deal with off-market opportunities and these are really off-market. As Dario said before, 2024 was a little uh, a wait and see period. So uh, the sellers and the buyers they were not certain to buy or sell, wait and see, but now, apparently, according to Dario's statement, something is changing. Can you tell us? Absolutely. Can you tell us uh, uh, what is changing? We see more appetite for uh, commercial real estate uh, as before, maybe one year ago. And uh, I predict that in 2025, the market will be uh, the market will be very, let's say, hot and there will be a lot of uh, transactions. And once the, glo the, the, the big institutional players are back buying properties, it will be very difficult for private individuals and also family offices to get really the good opportunity. Yes, because I we have the big competitors, yes, we have yes. the big names. Tell us some big names of these uh, big yeah, players. Yeah, what I don't is want big to mention, but yeah, there's a lot of... You pension. can mention, yeah. Pension we, pension have yeah. we have pension cas, we have real insurance companies, yeah. and we have uh, the big banks. Which, which are buyers and often when you want to do, get into competition with a pension cash, uh, with uh, billions of liquidity, it's very difficult. they can beat yeah. you always with the price you offer. Exactly. So that's why also it's very important to find the right uh, brokers, to find the right partners to get off market properties where you are not in a, in a tender competition no. with, with, with institutional clients. It's important that the properties we have, they have a certain price and the seller will not change the price 
uh, in uh, in the negotiations. So okay. it's a fixed price often in Switzerland or in Zurich market. And that's and it. When you pay the price, you will get the property. That's very important. So you have to know as a foreign real estate investor that now is the moment because we are shortly before that we will have movements in the market, more activities than we had this year. So because as Dario told us, after you are in the competition, you have to fight with big competitors and it will be very difficult. So if you want to move now, if you want to invest, now it's the right moment. Call us. We will sit together, we will show the opportunities, we learn what you are looking for, and I'm sure that we can find a solution. Yes, absolutely. Uh, last but not least, I want to mention that you often have also very nice capital gain uh, during the years. So when your philosophy is to hold 10, 15 years uh, commercial property in a very very nice location in Zurich or Geneva or Zug, you will have a double in value, I guarantee you, in 10 years. A double? Sure. Double For in sure. value? A double. We saw this we, in the right property. When you buy the right property... In the right location? Double. The right property? even we saw in the past a triple. In, uh, you in can triple value. you can triple the investments or double the investment. This Absolutely. is exceptional because Absolutely. we have the situation. Switzerland is a small country, so th there is not illimited, illimited square meters to buy. <laughs> there is limited, and Zurich is a growing city. There are a lot of expats here coming here. It's a, we have in Zurich. Zurich is a booming city, has become a booming city. We are here in a completely different situation than 10 years ago. Absolutely. It's absolutely booming. People are looking, you know, for real estate, for apartments. There's the market. Uh, there is not enough. There is not enough. Uh, There's not yeah. enough space uh, yeah. to build new, new buildings. And uh, Switzerland is a very good stable market for real estate. And it will, be, it will stay for the next 10 years for sure. Afterwards, we never know. And in Switzerland, Zurich is the by far the best location. So you prefer Zurich to Geneva, to absolutely, Zug? Absolutely. Yeah. Nothing uh, is even close to Zurich uh -huh. because it's the best market, it's the best city. Uh, the restaurants are packed. There's a lot of tourists and um, it's an expensive city, but the, uh, the property value is always increasing. So I suggest also to international family offices to more look also at Zurich. Normally they have on the market London, or which Geneva. is very yeah. difficult, yeah. which we can do maybe another video about uh, London. About London real estate, yes, uh, but let's stay. Or, or Paris, Rome, Milan, uh, Madrid, Barcelona are often the cities uh, on, the, on the target yeah. of, of international family office. But I suggest as a diversification also because of the Swiss franc, of the stability, of, of, of the strong Swiss franc yes. and the very competitive tax environment. You know, Absolutely. you are not overtaxed yes. here. So if you keep a real estate for many years, you don't pay much tax. It's very fair compared to other jurisdictions. Absolutely. So you have uh, a very big advantage, but you have to think long term to realize these kinds of wins. You have to you have to think for yes. uh, ten years or yes. uh, at least ten years, yes. uh, ten to fifteen uh, years. And to yeah, I think 2025 be, will be a very good year for real estate. Okay, a very good year uh, for for Zurich, uh, but also Geneva, Zug, where uh, we and maybe also Lucerne, which is uh, quite booming. That uh, you invest in real estate. And we can help you in, in uh, targeting the right uh, the right sellers, the right property, the, the right, right sellers, location, the right partners, to not do mistakes, yeah, to work with the right That's people. Important. It's very important to work with the right people. The role of the real estate agent is crucial. He decides the wrong, the wrong real estate agent can cause a disaster. Absolutely. We saw in the past year, especially yeah. in the booming phases of real estate, that uh, seller and buyer are al already um, fixed with the price, let's say 10 million. And one day before the notary, the seller decides because his banker is advising him to, 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 to increase the price uh, and in increase yeah. the price to 11 million. Just one day before of notary, yeah. this can cause a lot of 
troubles and is very unserious. So yeah. we try to avoid to work with any seller which is increasing the price, but it's a fair deal. And uh, we have fixed prices in our real estate. So uh, that's very important that you got the certainty about the transaction. You have to preserve the reputation in Switzerland. Your reputation is very critical here because Zurich is relatively a small city. Everybody knows everybody. So here it's really the place to don't do bullshit because if you do bullshit, you're out of market forever. Very good set answer, very good. Thank you, Dario. Absolutely. Can you tell us, Dario, in your offerings you have in the pocket, what are the best offers, the two, three best offers you have right now in the pocket for a potential foreign real estate investor? So without giving, no, obviously, no, without thought, giving, thought, uh, but because okay. of confidentiality reasons and all that, but you can give us As some hints, know, some I, signals. As you know, I often like uh, historical properties, uh, trophy assets yeah. at the, uh, in the center of Zurich. So we have a few with uh, multi-tenant or single tenant. Uh, when we speak about multi-tenant, we like very much dentists, lawyers, uh, law offices uh, with a small part uh, retail, maybe also fashion brands are good like uh, Louis Vuitton, Mone, Moe Hennessy or Kering or all those big, big companies which are all doing very Business well. Business in the Zurich, moment. they are coming to Zurich yes. like crazy. More and more international fashion brands are coming here and they are looking for commercial real estate, correct, of course. Correct. So, so Darius, like you much. have opportunities in the center. In we the very center. In the center. How we much is the price? Can you give us some indication, a price well, idea? We that, have uh, from 15 million up to... Uh, 15 up million to up 400 to... 400 million, you can have everything. 50 million Swiss francs up to 400 million Swiss francs. There, is, there are a lot of opportunities to choose, but also here you have to move now to double your money in 10 years. Minimum we, double. Yeah, minimum double. Space is very limited in Zurich, as yeah. you said, and so before, and reputation is key. So very important to us is that we have a good reputation <laughs> and that we guarantee you a proper and fair and very efficient transaction. Thank you very much, Dario. Thank you very much. So in case you are interested in having, in uh, exploring more the commercial real estate opportunities in Switzerland, give us a call, send us an email, send Dario and me, we are more than happy to sit with you on the tables and to explore together the opportunities. This kind of information you cannot find in bibliotheques, not in libraries and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, press the subscribe button below and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. And if you have a specific questions, not only about real estate, about bank accounts, about banking in general, give us a call. We are here for you. Be rich and stay rich. We wish you a beautiful day.